So last episode I had about 20 subs and now I have at the time of this recording like 230 which is crazy. Thank you so much. Oh my god. It's pretty crazy that people are actually watching this time. There's a little more pressure. But anyway, last time we left off, Hannah finds a sore in her mouth, which is syphilis, obviously. So Hannah visits the gay kid's house and right off the bat there's like a million things wrong here. No. He has tons of pictures of her hung up, zoomed into like her teeth and shit. I mean, they're great pictures. Yeah, these are definitely some really good pictures. Also, what the hell is going on everywhere? I think this is his parents' basement or something, but it looks like a serial killer's hideout. Hannah, why didn't you tell us what's going on in school? What do you mean? We've heard horrible stories about oral sex behind the gym, about girls in your grade with multiple sex partners. Why didn't you say anything, honey? I don't even get why Hannah has to say anything at all. Is she just gonna come home one day and say, Hey, everybody at school is having sex. Hannah goes online and searches up syphilis and just listen to the choice of music they use for the scene. It doesn't fit at all. Again, what is with this music choice? Switzerland, take it all. Hey, back at a big ass baby. It's gross. It's not what you said the other night. <laughs> Got him. The kids whose parents decided they wanted to handle this privately. Oh. Let's see how many. Am I too late? It's just something you do with boys, like dancing. <laughs> For some reason, Hannah and Don drink, and then they end up getting sick. Don's mom comes home to like the worst attempt at making barfing noises I've ever heard. And she has like no reaction to it. But when she sees Dawn sleeping on the couch, that's too far. Oh my god. Oh, I have syphilis. What? After finding out about Hannah's syphilis, Hannah's mom just goes around and tries to talk to everybody's mom. I'm so concerned about our girls, Kathleen. In my home, sex is still a private matter. I'm not crying, Kathleen. I'm fighting this in my own family. How? Well, teaching abstinence. I'm censoring their movies and music, for one thing. This is a toxic culture, and it's poisoning our kids. I mean, have you ever listened to those rap lyrics? They're disgusting. Late night with the report like Colbert. Left hand, I started look like a kid cuisine. So it turns out Nick actually does have a mom, but she's so useless that she might as well not exist. Being a parent, how do you suggest we deal with this problem? I'm not sure there is a problem. Oh, I'm furious that my son isn't using condoms. I'm sorry, but this is like the opposite of a unibrow. How cool is this? You know, I can email this straight to Tiger Bead or Cosmo Girl or even Maxim uh, if you want. Anna, you want to join our super support group? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you tell that mother of yours to mind her own damn business. Because if she shows up on my porch, I'm going to wreck your world. <laughs> Careful. 
You might crush the few brain cells you've got left. Dude, that is so gay, man. I actually slowed the clip down and it hits her right in the face. Seatbelt. This is like in the top 10 of worst movie scenes ever. Why doesn't she just go forward? Instead, she ends up reversing. Why? There, is there something I'm not getting here? subject is, well, uh, a water fountain <laughs> or something boring like school, you know? I don't know, I'm starting to think that the easiest subject to find character in is you. After this, there's a super long, awkward, drawn-on scene where they kind of kiss a little bit. I feel so awkward for the people out there who had to watch this in health class, which seemed like it was a lot of you. After that, for no explained reason, Hannah runs to Brad's party to find Becca, which is obviously trouble. Where's Becca? What? Becca! Oh, don't worry about Becca. Stop. 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 Oh, please. Back. Relax! Get out of here! Party's over. Thanks. <sighs> just can't believe the dumbass felt. After Brad kicks everyone out, Nick's just standing there looking at them, looking like a budget bin Kylo Ren. Let's get you home. No, I don't want to face my parents right now, okay? So, uh, Tommy takes Hannah to his serial killer hideout, and then her parents come over, and that's it. The movie ends with the painting of this child with no neck. So now as we do after we watch every movie, we have to reflect. The most important thing we've learned from this movie is, number one, stop in front of traffic and make sure you get real mad when they honk at you. Number two, a good way to bond with friends is to watch porn. Number three, if you need to announce something very important, make sure to do it as quietly what, and as inaudibly as possible. Anyway, that concludes my She's Too Young review. I really didn't expect anyone to enjoy this, but I appreciate you a lot. Thank you, I, I cannot say that enough. Anyway, I've got some suggestions already, uh, so tell me in the comments if you'd like to see some movies. I'm probably gonna watch them all this weekend. I'm planning just to watch shitty movies all weekend. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, sub up. I'm planning to do at least one video a week, if not more. Alright, I even got a calendar and shit. Uh, also, I still don't know how to end these, so, uh... Bye.